Welcome everyone to our information session on the respiratory therapy program here at NBCC. My name is Sean McCarville and I am the clinical coordinator for the RT program and with me this evening is Christy Bishop who is our coordinating instructor. As you can see here, uh, this is a picture of our students working in our simulation lab which is part of our building at the Allied Health Education Centre which is located at Tucker Park where UMBSJ is also located. We are directly across from the St. John Regional Hospital which gives us great access to being able to complete our clinical component of our program which we'll be talking about later. Respiratory therapy is an allied health discipline that actually helps assist in the diagnosis, the treatment and management of patients with cardiopulmonary disorders. We function in a variety of settings, some of which are in the hospital, sometimes we will work in research, in the community, or in private industry. As starting out in the respiratory therapy industry, you could be expecting a salary of an average of $34 an hour. Currently, there are positions in every province across Canada. Most of the time, our graduates are employed prior to graduation. Once you graduate from the respiratory therapy program, there are some additional designations that you could explore, such as becoming a perfusionist or taking the anesthesia assistance program. You could also become a certified tobacco educator or a certified respiratory educator. So Christy here. Um, as Sean mentioned, I'm the coordinating instructor for the respiratory therapy program. And I'll discuss a little bit about the structure of our program. So we are a three year diploma program with the New Brunswick Community College. And what's really special too is that we do have an articulation with UMBSJ. So if you are looking to pursue um, a Bachelor of Health Science degree in respiratory therapy, that can be accomplished between us and the university. Um, currently, you would spend one year at the university, apply to our program, um, apply to the respiratory therapy competitive major. You would come to us here at MBCC, spend your three years here, after which time you could write um, your national credentialing exam and become a registered respiratory therapist. And then you can go back to UMBSJ and finish off um, a few courses to receive your bachelor's degree in respiratory therapy. When it comes to your actual education here at New Brunswick Community College, your training will consist of both online lecture, um, classroom lecture, a lot of labs with medical simulation and that hands-on simulation, and clinical exposure where you're out in industry, either at the hospital or at our other industry partners and community. Within our labs, you'll have lots of opportunity to practice the skills that are required for clinical practice. So here you see some students, they're actually putting an endotracheal tube in a patient so that they can be ventilated through the ventilator um, or any other way that they need to be. When we look at our program profile, we work Monday to Friday, 8.30 until 4.30. In your first year, which will run from September to June, you'll have a combination of online classroom and lab time. So this is here where you're purely sort of taking courses and classroom courses. There'll be an orientation in September for all first year students. And there'll be one week of special observational clinical in the spring term of your first year. So as a first year student, you're going to go and go into hospital or out into the community, and you're gonna spend a week with respiratory therapists who are working in the program and working in the field, sorry. And you can go and visit and do this sort of observational clinical. So you can see what it's like, what the, the day in the life of a respiratory therapist is like. In your second year, you'll come back in September, and from September until April, you'll spend that time in the classroom. And then beginning in April, at the end of our winter term, you'll start your clinical experience. So you'll spend 10 weeks of clinical in that spring term. And then your third year with us, you spend 29 weeks in clinical, so you'll run from September until April. 
and that'll be all clinical. So in total, you end up having 39 weeks of clinical time that is spent out either in hospital or in industry, and it equates to over about 1,500 hours of clinical practice. Before you come, you need to be sure to complete any physicals that are required. You will need um, your immunization record and a criminal record check, including the vulnerable sector. And that should be done before you start with us in September, um, but you will get more details on that um, with your acceptance into the program. During your classroom time, there are many hands-on labs prior to your clinical experience. Here you can see we have two students who are doing what is called an arterial blood gas sampling, where we take a small sample of blood from an artery in your wrist. It's a common test that we do in respiratory therapy. And as students, you get to practice that and to hone that skill so that you can do all of these experiences and, and do a lot of this um, clinical practice you know, prior to entering out into the hospital so you get some, some time to practice uh, in a safe environment before you go out into your clinical experience. When you look at respiratory therapy, we have many areas of study. Um, some of those include anatomy and physiology. And both of the, the whole body system, and then especially we look at the anatomy and physiology of the respiratory system itself. Pharmacology, and that will include um, drugs that we use specifically for the respiratory system, plus the cardiac medicines and drugs that you would use in anesthesia as well. Professionalism, looking at all areas in communication and what it means to be a, have a professional designation. We'll study medical terminology and the use of the proper terminology um, when you're working out in the medical field. Pathophysiology, so all of those different diseases um, that include both that of the respiratory system and the cardiovascular system, amongst other diseases. Uh, there's a specialty course in anesthesia. As respiratory therapists, you work in the operating room alongside the anesthesiologist to provide assistance as required. Respiratory equipment, we have all kinds of equipment that we use that are dedicated specifically um, to respiratory therapy. Mechanical ventilation, a big part of our job is mechanically ventilating patients in the intensive care unit, helping them breathe. Patient assessment, neonatal and pediatrics, um, your specialty designations that can require you know, to work within neonatal and pediatrics. Um, so we, we see babies from the very, very, very small, very premature, um, up all the way through their childhood. You'll be given an introduction into research and of course, advanced life-saving procedures. Here in our simulation lab, we have advanced simulation mannequins, both adult and pediatric. So we run a lot of simulation, you know, so that you are there in that sort of safe environment prior to entering clinical. And we use them for simulation to um, enhance what you're learning in the classroom. And we also use them for practical examinations. When you look at the types of assessments that we do within the program, there will be a variety of assessment methods and tools. You know, we have multiple choice questions on tests, short answer questions on tests, essay questions, and we also do practical examinations. Quizzes, tests, midterms, final examinations, so a variety of different tools that are used to assess you as a student. And then there are, we have three comprehensive examinations in your clinical year. So this is when you go out into clinical and you've done all of your classroom time and that you started in your clinical experience and you're out there for a little bit and then we bring you back and we test your knowledge comprehensively. So we test you on everything that you've learned and we do these this three times throughout your clinical year to prepare you to write your national credentialing exam that you'll write in the July um, after you, you finish your third year. And when you write that national registry exam, you're able to work anywhere in Canada. So once you, you, you finish your program with us and then you write the national registry exam and you'll become a registered respiratory therapist. And once you're a registered with us, respiratory therapist, then you can work all across Canada. If you were looking to go work, say, in the United States or in another country, you would have to write the national exam for, the, for that nation. 
So as a respiratory therapist, you're going to become familiar with many advanced procedures and you'll have the opportunity to educate other students on those procedures, both within our own program and outside the program. Here at the Allied Health Education Center and within the Allied Health Professions, there really is an emphasis on interprofessional education it is a cornerstone in our area of study. Some of the things that you'll be studying in respiratory therapy are, so this is an example of our term one courses. Uh, it does look like there is a lot of courses in term one, but you'll notice that some of them are for the first seven weeks and some of them are for the second seven weeks. We have things like healthcare in Canada and work safely, a communications course, interpersonal communications, ethics and legal framework. We have a course that is one day or a seven hour course and it's orientation to service learning and community leadership. You'll also be taking critical reading and persuasive writing, general anatomy and physiology. You'll be taking fundamentals of medical gas and then another advanced respiratory anatomy and physiology course. In the winter and spring term of year one, you'll be moving on to things like fundamentals of pharmacology of respiratory pharmacology, foundations of pathophysiology, applications of respiratory equipment and therapeutic procedures, pulmonary diagnostics, blood gas theory and clinical practice. In term three, you'll move to a course called Intro to Clinical Respiratory Therapy. That course is where you'll actually do a week of clinical observation. Back in form as part of term three, ECGs, that intro to clinical respiratory therapy observational part. So again, you're doing a week of actually observing respiratory therapists in practice. And then another pathophysiology course focusing on the cardiovascular system and other diseases. When we move into year two in the fall and winter term, you'll be studying introduction to neonatal and pediatric respiratory therapy respiratory pathophysiology, so just the pathophysiology associated with the lung conditions, advanced respiratory therapy and procedures, hemodynamics, respiratory mechanical ventilation. In the winter term, you'd be studying research, mechanical ventilation devices, patient assessment, anesthesia equipment and techniques, advanced neonatal and pediatrics, and we'll be doing some courses in advanced certifications as well. So your spring of year two, and then the fall and winter of your third year is all spent doing clinical placements. So this is kind of like if you think of a historical co-op program, this is where you would be going and doing your clinical exposure. And it consists of all of these different courses. RESP 1060, which is preparation for clinical, is a three week course at the very beginning of your clinical placements where you go out with instructors to be prepared to go with your preceptors or with staff respiratory therapists. Then the rest of your clinical year will be made up doing parts of these rotations. Anesthesia is one rotation, general therapeutics and community respiratory care, neonatal, adult critical care where you'll spend 12 weeks in the adult intensive care, pulmonary diagnostics which is a three-week rotation. We have some other courses that are spread out through your year as well like preparation for national credentialing. So that is where you would be writing your comprehensive exams to help you get ready to write your national registration exam. There's a course called professional development and that runs all year long and that's where you come in to have program days to check in with your instructors. Overview of becoming a preceptor and introduction to entrepreneurship are also held during your clinical year. At NBCC, we are committed to preparing you for the workforce as well as providing a well-rounded education that supports your active involvement in the community. Here we have a picture of our students 
who are out for the Robertson Institute Day at NBCC, where we go out into the community and we give back. And you can feel that sense of belonging with your community. If you look at our contact information here, um, I am the coordinating instructor. There's my email, christy.bishop at nbcc.ca, and that is a direct phone number to my office line. And uh, you can also see my email there as well, sean.mccurville at nbcc.ca, as well as a direct line to my office. So if you had any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to either Christy or myself at any time. And we can meet and talk on the phone. We can answer any of your questions through email. Or if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us, um, we can do that either in person or virtually. Um, or if you'd like to have a little viewing of our building, you know, we can, we can set those up for you. So just a couple of final comments of some things to consider about choosing respiratory therapy and choosing NBCC. Some of the reasons that I would encourage you to think about our program is that we are a small program. We have only 18 students. We get to know our students very well and we get to um, connect with you and we get involved in seeing you become successful. And at NBCC, that is strongly encouraged that you know we're here to support you through your journey becoming whatever profession that is that you choose. So I'd really like you to consider our program. Thank you for your time. Thank you.